Right, you alien scum. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. <laughs> That's how we sit deep with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens! They're Republic fugitives! Attack! <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. Tong hai tuam jiji jung lumpa. 
ni ta poe e tiki tu. Dol pa da bon gwale. Ta kum jus tak miki grabul mo. Chi gratu lo da bograshi on ni un kumpa chin dol pa da bon gwale. Ka chi ku tong abog sha. Tak bis ju bon ku kuki mak panka. Ching pala chiska mule tunara na nu chan shak bulara umrao chi wi tam boragatong achuta
Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go with the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. I it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed them. I, I didn't. No, I, I know. Don't worry about it. I just... I'm... I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kepler Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Uh, just so you Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Don't get me wrong. The game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won count. That's why... I'm so... No. Welcome to the equip.
Hello there, youngster. Just glad to see you're into. Good luck. What do you want? Have you come here just... I'm going to enjoy the leap. But luck is no substitute for skill in Pazak. I'm going to enjoy the... to an Thank <laughs> you. 
Bazak is not for everyone. Never wish to test you. I saw your match against Niklos. He doesn't lose very often. I bet you could make a lot of credits as a professional Pazak player. You know, you're my kind of guy, rich and handsome. The bartender can mix us up something special for only 20 credits. If you play your cards right. What's the matter, you shy? Suit yourself. I'll be here if you change your mind. Just. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. They can make this job pretty lonely. Save the sympathetic best friend act. I'm not bi- But I don't want to fill out a bunch of paperwork on my day off, so let's just pretend this conversation never happened. Now move along. Back again? Didn't I make myself clear enough? The senior Sith officers don't like us fraternizing with Ugh, It's okay. I might have overreacted a bit. But can you blame me? Everywhere I look, I see one of you Teresians glaring at me with hate in your eyes. You're an off-worlder. 
I figured you'd be even more angry being stuck on a foreign planet and all. <laughs> you know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? Exactly, it's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I tried to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely up at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a shift at the military base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is. Don't be late. We're starting right after our ship's end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. No hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. How dare you speak to me like that? Daddy's going to hear about this. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. <laughs> Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Now, I hope all you bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Tufinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan! <laughs> and to nobody's great surprise... Well, that was...
Vibroblades and blasters? And nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The mysterious stranger!
Corner. A woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death and... Ladies and gentlemen, draw... He's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids that... But there's always some young... that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that South Kaforan refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat all... It will just take me a moment while I examine your injuries, and then I'll administer the proper treatment. Welcome back. 
The terrible affliction has plagued Terras for many generations. It is spread by the Rat Ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories in... If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the... I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a scent, but I doubt a patrol would just hand... Of course, just... What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. You, you recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless... unless you're a friend of the Republic. I, uh... I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Psst, you there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rakgul serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Now, don't be an idiot. Just listen to me for one minute, and you won't be sorry. David Kang wants the cure, and you'd be smart to give it to him. Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. Hm, I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? Now be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer. If you find the Rakul serum, just speak it to Zax in the Lower City County office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Welcome back. Are you in... Goodbye. Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits. I Sorry, you're out of time. But I don't have that much. How- No, help! 
I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. <laughs> I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to... Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me... You're giving me 100 credits? Just like that? I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving him a hundred credits? Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he, if he just gives me a little more. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've... You mean, you're not here to kill me? But I... I, I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zap. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless... You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You made it. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come on in. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up.
Don't, don't hurt my family. Just get out. Get out. Get out. You ain't supposed to be here. This ain't your home. Coming to, huh? Shouldn't you go to the Lars says this is rich? Yeah, like he said, these streets are for upper A drink? Hey, hey! For a slummy, you ain't so No way, forget it. No more drink. Uh uh yeah. Yes, what's in your mind? Terrace? From well, that's all. You got it. Walks among us. A plague's 